I'm reading first a message from Archbishop Bernard. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, dear friends, my warmest greetings as you gather today at St. Child's Cathedral with Monsignor David Senek for this holy liturgy of remembrance of the fallen heroes and the innocent war dead of Ukraine. I wish to extend my sincere thanks to Monsignor David, Father Taras, Father Andrei, and all the faithful of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy in Birmingham, Coventry, Wolverhampton, and Stoke-on-Trent for your courageous witness to the Lord as you pray especially for all the people of Ukraine on this tragic anniversary. One year ago, the world stood aghast as Ukraine was invaded. As we look to the future, we pray for a lasting and just peace for all the people of Ukraine. And we remember all those who had to flee their homes in search of safety. I join you in praying for Bishop Kenneth Novakowski, my brother Bishop, and the Epoch of the Ukrainian Catholic Epochy of the Holy Family of London, together with all your clergy and faithful. May the Lord's blessing be upon you today and in the time to come. With my kindest, best wishes during the season of Lent. Yours sincerely in Christ, Bernard, Bernard Longley, Archbishop of Birmingham. Well, these lovely words from the Archbishop, I'm sure, Monsignor Senek, Father Taras, and you appreciate. Of course, we all stand with you at this moment. I was very fortunate personally to be in Lviv in 1995 at the end of the Soviet Union and to be involved in a catechetical project with the people there, especially a religious community of sisters for a number of years afterwards and then to stay with families and to be presented with one of your lovely icons. So it was on behalf of Archbishop Bernard that I went to Coventry last year after the 24th. It was Sunday the 27th when Father Taras had just arrived and to extend his sympathy and our standing with you at that particular time. I'm sure I didn't think that I'd be coming again today, a year later. But there are, as well as the great, very sad things, and so many dying, so many suffering, losing their homes, and it continues apace. There are good things that we see, too. One is the welcome to families who are coming here to England, people opening their homes. The other is to see the way in which Ukrainians here have gathered to help the people back home and are working with us too. For example, in the diocese, we have a worker now who has been appointed in association with the people from Coventry to work across the diocese, supporting the many who are coming and the host families. Last week I was in Stoke-on-Trent for an intercultural mass and so pleased to see the great work that is going on there by many Ukrainians and they were part of our celebration. And last night to be in Coventry, my hometown, where in the cathedral ruins there many, many people gathered together with people from Ukraine to express solidarity on that rather sad day, but full of hope 
in a cathedral of ruins that one day, like the cathedral of Coventry, there will be a new cathedral, a new Ukraine, built on the sacrifice and faith of the people who have given and are giving so much.